Well, hello, and welcome to the Creative Encounter Podcast. I am your host, Juet Payne, and you are here. I am here. This is happening. This is something I've been dreaming about for months and months, and it is finally here, the Creative Encounter Podcast. So I just want to thank you first and foremost for lending your attention, lending your ears, lending your time. Time is precious. Time is valuable. And you are lending it here to listen in on this podcast. So I just want to say I really appreciate you and thank you so much. And I want to make sure I deliver and give you guys valuable content that you can take home and implement in your daily lives. So before we dive in, I want to make sure you guys know that this podcast is on YouTube. YouTube, so you can watch this visually as you're doing now. And it is also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So you can listen on your drive. I know that you like to listen to podcasts because you're here, right? So uh, as you're on your drive, you can go ahead and listen. Please leave a rating, leave a review, all of those things because they help us to go up in the rankings so that a lot more people can be reached through this podcast. It's very important. We want to encourage and motivate people through the Creative Encounter Podcast. So make sure you do that and make sure you subscribe on YouTube as well. All right, so we are going to jump in. So once again, my name is Juet Payne. I'm a contemporary gospel singer, songwriter, and recording artist. And also my heart is to encourage and motivate and to help people to be able to become who God created them to be. I want you guys to know up up front that this podcast is uh, for kingdom creatives specifically. So what does that mean? Those who are looking to advance the kingdom of God. So this will be Christian-based, faith-based, biblical-based. I'll be dropping in biblical truths in between as it relates to our creativity and how we can implement and do these things in the earth when God's Holy Spirit is upon us. So we will be talking about those things wrapped in daily life things that we can we can actually relate to. So this is going to be really cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And if you are not a believer per se, this is still going to be encouraging to you because this is just for all creatives. We'll be talking art, music, dance, photography, video, you know, uh, acting, all of these things, all the things in the arts we will be addressing. We'll be talking about the business side of things as well. So how do we how do we be creative, but also realize that there's a business side of our creativity for those who, you know, for those who are not doing it as a hobby, but those who are looking to go into these things professionally, this is for you. So we want to be able to, to, to tackle both of those angles so that you could be well-versed to have the tools that you need to execute and do great in the things that you're doing. So going back to this, I have a heart for performing leading worship, for songwriting, for just music in general, all those things, and the arts in general, all encompassing. I have a heart for those things, but also have a heart for individuals who are looking to see things happen and may not have the tools or the knowledge and things that they need to see these things happen, you know? So we want to be able to offer those things through this podcast. And we also do events too, which I'm going to go into. But before we get into what this is, I want to backtrack a little bit and tell you a little bit about me so you know who your host is going to be for this weekly podcast that you're going to be listening to every single week, you know? So I want to make sure you guys know me. So I am here in Chicago, Illinois, kind of on the outskirts in Maywood, Illinois. Uh, That's where I reside. And again, I'm a singer, songwriter, a musician, an artist, a performer, and things like that. So over the years, God has blessed me to have so many opportunities to be able to, to interact and reach people through art and music. You know, just so many opportunities on, on stage with other musicians, uh, leading worship, having those encounters with different individuals and just been such a blessing, right? So my heart as an artist is to use music and the arts as a catalyst for people to encounter God. I feel like it's such an amazing tool for people to see God because the scriptures start off, I just love, again, I'm about to, I told you I'm going to be dropping biblical truths, okay? So you just got to get ready for it, okay? So the scriptures start off, before we even get into the word, the Bible has 66 books, but the first line of scripture, the first book, Genesis, Genesis 1, 1 says, in the beginning, God created. Just right there, God created. What did he do? The first thing the Bible shows us about God is that he is a creator. It doesn't mention that he's, you know, judge or, you know, things like that. It says right away, God is creator. That's the first thing. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, right? Before him, the earth was formless. It was was nothingness. His spirit, his spirit made this thing come to life. He created it. What did he say? Let there be light. He's spoken into existence, his speaking. And that's something we're going to be talking about soon as artists, as creatives, the power of your voice, the power of speaking, right? In order to make things manifest, right? But let's go back to God. 
in the beginning, he created. That's the first thing he shows us. He's a creator. So my heart is to use music and the arts as a catalyst to bring that encounter for people to encounter God as creator. Because the whole scripture is wrapped around Christ and what he's done for us to transform and do a new thing in us, right? So with that, the first thing God wants to show us is that he creates newness. He creates things new. And he wants to do that in and through us, right? In us, he wants to transform us. And through us, he wants us to help transform others through our light, right? He said, let there be light. <laughs> we are the light. And he wants us to move and do that. So that's something we're going to talk about future stuff. I can start going on tangents when it comes to that word. But let me get back to the point. So with that, he's creating newness, right? That he wants to do a new thing in us. So that's my heart to show people, hey, God wants to create you into who you're created to be. That's why Jesus came. That's why the Holy Spirit came, so that we stop living like like paupers, stop living this life like we're like insignificant. That we are kings and queens, right? And he wants us to do uh, have dominion over the earth, and that's through our creativity. Okay, so with that, over the years, people have just been a blessing. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys watching this are people who support this ministry, people who have just helped me and the band to get to where we are in this place and time right now and the projects that we've released, the people that we've outreached to, all of those things. So I just want to say thank you to you. But people have supported us over the years, whether it was just through you know, a prayer, whether it was supporting us on Kickstarter. We've done a couple of Kickstarters. Uh, that's been amazing. Uh, whether it's purchasing an album or purchasing a single, whatever it is, you have been supporting. And with that, I like to show gratitude by doing the same. So I like to support other creatives and help others to be able to get to their place of excellency, their place of growth and things like that, right? So with that, people have just supported us and we want to do the same. So that's why Creative Encounter is in existence for that very reason. So think of Creative Encounter as the outreach component of Z Pain Music. Z Pain Music is my ministry where I go and, you know, sing and, and perform and lead worship and things like that. And I guess have those conversation interactions with people, but it goes deeper when I'm able to uh, network and connect with, with other artists and be able to help them to be able to see their gifts manifest and execute those things as well, okay? So that's what Creative Encounter is here for, to be able to give back and outreach specifically to Kingdom Creatives. Because some of the, the obstacles that artists have whether you're a kingdom creative or just in creativity in general, some of the obstacles that we have are uh, not being able to uh, get the business you know, experience and things like that that we need, right? You know, that can be kind of tough because we can think very creatively, and but it can be tough for us to realize that there's an operational side, that there's a business side to our creativity as well. And we want those things to be able to be well-versed and we want to be balanced in those things so that we can proper, properly execute those things, right? So if we, for example, if I were to create an art piece that I'm trying to sell, it's not just like, oh, I create this art piece and just kind of hang it on the wall and hope that someone will come and purchase it, right? That's not how that works. There's, a, you know, it could be a large scale or small scale business aspect to that too. You have to put a price on it, okay? Now you're going into the business, right? You have to let people even know that you have the art in the first place, right? You have to add value. You, it, when you begin to get commissions, you ask people, oh, what is this something? Is there something specific that you want me to, to draw or create or paint, right? And you have to know what they want so that you can add value to that individual. So there's a whole business side too. You want to be able to know that. Uh, also, resources. So being able to, like I have this creative gift, but who do I even reach out to? How do I um, let people know that I have something that can add value to their lives, right? That's something that's that's extremely significant. And then actually technology is a third component too. So uh, rapidly advancing technology. How do we use these different platforms such as you know, social media, our website, our email list, uh, email marketing and things like that? How do we utilize these things to be able to uh, you know get the word out on what we have? Again, all of these things... Uh, tie in together, right? So we got resources, rapidly advancing technology, and business trading. Those are some obstacles I feel like creatives sometimes have a struggle with being able to implement, right? So that's why Creative Encounter is here. So outside of this podcast, Creative Encounter actually started as a monthly hub, and it's still ongoing. So every month, we meet and we have these meetings where artists are able to share their gifts with one another, to be able to perform, whether it's doing spoken word, whether it's music, whether it's acting, dance, whatever your gift is, you have the opportunity to perform. And this is in front of 
a live audience, you know, so everyone kind of gathers together once a month and I would love to invite you guys out. We'll have those details towards the end of this, but we do that once a month. And then, uh, the second component would be the networking, which is a huge thing for me because I love talking to people. I love talking. I love interacting with individuals and things like that. And I love when others can network because now you're kind of saying, Hey, um, man, I want to learn how to play an instrument, right? Oh, well, you know, I, I actually teach, you know, music. Oh, that's awesome. You know, I'm actually working on this music video. I actually do film and, and photography. You know, let's connect so I can support you. You know, I need headshots. You know, again, I do photography, whatever it is. Now, everyone is networking, sharing what their gifts are so that you're top of mind when something comes up. People are thinking like, hey, I just talked to this individual who does this. Let me hit them up. And that's very important. And then also at the Creative Encounter events, before you leave, we have it to where there's actually sign-up tables and things like that. So again, if you want to learn an instrument, you can sign up for one of the businesses. For example, this is a ministry I do here, but I'm an entrepreneur, which I'm about to talk about in a second. I'm an entrepreneur and I have a few businesses. So Starving Artist Courses is one where I teach music virtually. Okay, so it's kind of like your all-in-one online music education resource where we teach multiple instruments on YouTube. So Starving Artist Courses on YouTube. And then we also uh, teach virtual virtual one-on-one lessons. And we have courses on our website that is currently being built at the timing of the shoot for this. And we're going to have those on our site as well. So that's one business. So if someone says that, they can sign up on the sheet and check that out. Uh, Pain Dual Productions, again, Juet pain my wife and i we have a business where we work together doing video and photography for individuals you know so just so many uh, options we want to give people local artist productions that's another one of mine that's where people can come here to the studio record your music and get it mixed and, and mastered and recorded and all of that here so so all these different things so we have those as options and we want to have so many other resources too so if you want to join i would love to have you i would love to have that conversation with you but yes at those events, we have those for Creative Encounter. So that's what Creative Encounter is in a nutshell. And it's just been so amazing. We actually launched back in February. But I want to go back a little bit to its inception. Because for years, I have been an entrepreneur at heart. And this actually started way back, I'll say, man, probably like right after graduating college is when I really got deep into it, you know? So that's always been my thing, just just having <laughs> having an idea and just executing it. You know, I'm like, man, uh, God is just always dropping on me music, songs, uh, business ideas, strategies, all these things in my head all the time. Like to the point where like sometimes I have to tell him like, all right, hey, you know what? We got to slow down a bit because it's just so much, like I'm so full of ideas and concepts, but you want to make sure you're doing uh, which ones are immediate, what, which ones should be happening now. So, so you know, slow down a bit and so I can make sure to execute, you know, A, B, and C, you know. But pretty much I, I've always been, uh, since then, again, I've, ha I've had this entrepreneurial mindset and just started these businesses over the years, right? But I will work other jobs, you know, because it's easier to kind of have like the nine to five. Every two weeks, you know, you're getting your check, et cetera, et cetera. And then moonlighting my specific businesses and still executing, you know, still delivering and knocking things out. But it was specifically within the last couple of years where it was just heavy on my heart. Like, man, I cannot keep doing this working elsewhere, doing this thing I'm not passionate about, doing this thing I'm not called to do, and then going and working on these businesses, I feel like these things deserve all of me. I feel like these things deserve, you know, uh, like just the next level of their growth. You know, it's just like all these things are like babies, right? You have to develop these things. You have to take care of them and see them grow, see them flourish, right? So it was last year, 2021, I mean, it was just heavy on my heart. And I'm going to be talking about this in future episodes about timing and whatnot. But this was the time, I'm telling you. Because I've had over the years where I've been like, I'm a very like a clock time type of person, right? So over the years, I've always thought to myself, uh, man, okay, start of the year, man, I'm just going to take that leap. I'm just going to just leave my job and just jump into it. <laughs> you know. And one time I tried it and it didn't go so well, <laughs> you know, but it just wasn't in God's timing. But man, I'm telling you, when I tell you this was heavy on me to the point where when I thought about staying longer where I was at, it was just so much tension and stress on my body. I just really felt God just saying, the time is now. I kept trying to push it back out of fear, out of uh, concern, or just trying to, you know, just make sure all everything was in order, you know, um, and pretty much not stepping out on faith, you know. And I was like, man, maybe if I push it back to this month, 
And every time I clocked into work, I was like, oh, my goodness, I can't, I can't. He's, he's calling me. How's this going to work, Lord? You know, everything's not looking like completely solidified. But I knew he was calling me to do it. So much so, it was the craziest thing. So the job that I worked at before, I loved it. Loved my coworkers. It, it, it was amazing. Amazing team, managers, all of that stuff. So one of my managers, sometimes we have skip level meetings. I don't know if you guys know, it's like you have an immediate manager and then your manager's manager. Ever so often you have a skip level, you know, you'll skip and talk to them. But my skip levels were interesting because it wasn't like, where do you see yourself in this company within the next, you know, five years or whatever? All of our conversations were like, hey, how are your businesses going? <laughs> How's everything going and stuff? Because they knew that was my heart, entrepreneurship, right? And that's where it was. I was like, man, you know, everything is going great. You know, trying to decide, you know, when I would be transitioning, you know, th things are flowing, X, y, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it was interesting because my supervisor, <laughs> who I was working, uh, gave me this book and was like, hey, you know, I thought of you with this book. It was called The Big Leap. Uh, you guys need to check that book out. If you have not, it's called The Big Leap. Uh, I'll probably put the link of that, you know, in the description below uh, so you guys can check that out. But pretty much she gave me that book and was like, hey, after you read this, I don't want to see you giving me your two weeks notice and trying to dip because I know that this is gonna this is gonna push you even further towards that direction of, of what your calling is, right? Okay, so I checked this book out and I'm like, man, this is amazing. Because pretty much what it was saying, and I'm gonna talk about this in another episode, what it was breaking down is that all of us are always in one of four areas. Um of genius is what it was called. Okay, your area, your different zones. That's what it was, different zones, right? So you have incompetent, competent, excellent, and genius, okay? And I feel like for years, I've been kind of uh, teeter-tottering between the, the competent and excellent kind of realm. And she specifically told me, she said, you know, you're never going to be in your zone of, of genius as long as you're working here. Like, this is not your calling. This is not your forte. This is not what you're called to do. Um, you're going to go into your zo zo zone of, of genius when you step out. When you step out, I was like, man, this is crazy. Okay, so that was that. Along with the confirmation I was getting from God, it was just just like this this um, just feeling in my body. Not just like that whole like whimsical, like, oh, I feel it in my heart type of thing. Th this thing was heavy, I'm telling you. So that was that. So that was last year. And, you know, long story short, it was in September, uh, my birthday is in September, and it was going into my Jesus year, you know, we call it 33 our Jesus year, you know, that was when Jesus uh, went to the cross, died for us, rose from the grave, hallelujah, and he lives forever for us. But it was at 33 when we know in our faith that he went into glory. So we call that like your Jesus year, like that was the time I wanted to go into my glory, into my season of what God was calling me to do. So sure enough, that week before my birthday, turning 33, is when I went all in. I was like, hey, I'm about to leave this job, about to jump right into it. It is time. And went for it. And now it's a year later, and everything is still intact. Everything is great. Praise the Lord. You know, God has been blessing. And stepping out on faith, I mean, I'm telling you, he has just been bringing, bringing increase, bringing everything my family has needed and it has just been growing. It's been just such a blessing, you know? So with that, I jumped out thinking like, okay, now I'm about to jump into, you know, performing, fully performing, uh, you know, jumping into this business, you know, that, that was the thought that I had. And then it was in October, and I love that this podcast is dropping right now, October 2022. It was in October when I'm sitting down here in the studio just praying like, man, God, what do you want me to do as far as Duet C. Pain music, you know? Um, I was in my training. My ministry is actually other, under an organization called ACT International. It stands for Artist in Christian Testimony. So I'm a missionary. Uh, I am a, essentially you call me like an urban missionary. Uh, sometimes we say musicianary. <laughs> you know, is another way of saying it. Uh, but yes, I'm in art, but people support me monthly, so I can go out and minister through creativity. And it's under I'm a department under ACT International. So I was in a training with ACT. And it just kept pressing, man, I really just want to go hard in this. Let it all go. Just go hard um, in this ministry. And so I was just praying, like, God, what does this look like? And I also have a heart for supporting people, as I mentioned. So God spoke to me. I want you to create this ministry where you are giving back to kingdom creatives and being able to give them the resources and the tools and the connections and the opportunities so that they can go out and do what I'm calling them to do as well. 
And I was like, man, this, this, this is crazy. Like, this is what my heart is, you know? So I went and told my wife, went and told her that. And I remember I was being in the kitchen and when I told, told this to her, she was just like, man, this, this is totally you. This is totally you. This is a God thing. And we were just thinking about it, talking about it. And uh, that's she helped come up with the name. She's like, you know, what if we call this thing Creative Encounter? Because we want this to be uh, creative, meaning um, not the act of creative, but the person. The person who creates is called a creative, okay? Uh, who wants to do it in like a professional context, who really wants to go deep into their creativity. And then an encounter, which is a really cool definition if you look it up, is an unexpected or casual meeting with someone or something. Unexpected. I love that. That's, that's my part there. You never know what's going to happen at these events, the connections that are being made. But above that, it's an encounter with God. That's the part that I'm excited about. So it's just so cool. Um, an unexpected or casual. I love, I love the casual. It's like it uh, makes it more relational, right? You guys are relating on a heart level. Uh, so it's just really cool, these events we've been having since February. So God dropped it on me October of last year. We went all in. Launched in February and it's been going. It's been such a blessing. Different artists. If you go to Creative Encounter, not Creative Encounter podcast. If you go just to Creative Encounter on YouTube, you'll see the other artists like Andrew Micah, uh, Christina Maldonado. Uh, you'll see a few of these artists who have performed on at Creative Encounter, and it's on that channel. So you can check those out. Uh, but it's just been just such a blessing up to this point being able to do this. So it was just great just jumping out in faith. So right now I'm fully in ministry, fully in, as an entrepreneur, and God has just been blessing. So this podcast is here to show you guys that this is possible, to show you guys the work that goes into this. This is not easy. This is not one of those fluffy podcasts where you're like, oh man, if you just just uh, just you want to leave your job, just just go ahead and quit. Just go ahead and do it. You know, just jump into it. No. There's practical steps that goes into these things, and we want to walk through this and talk through this whole process because you want God's blessing and God's hand to be over this thing. Like straight up, we can't do this without God. You can't. You can try. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it, everything has its difficulties. So I'm not going to say, oh, with God, it's easy. No. With God, he, he, he puts those pieces in order, and you know it's of him, and you have this peace this supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. There's overflow. There's there's a covenant relationship. Uh, you you're just covered. You're covered. That that's I think that's how I can sum it up. With God, you're covered, man. Uh, God is your insurance. He's your assurance. He takes care of this whole thing. You know. So we want to make sure that we're talking about on this podcast uh, practical tools and practical steps on being able to implement and execute what you are called to do. Because so many people, I'm telling you, I know a lot of you guys. I've been there. I've had these conversations with friends and ongoing. So many people are like, man, uh, I just want to go into you know what God is calling me to do. I don't, I don't know who to talk to. I don't know how to do it. That's usually it. It's like the how, who, when, where, all of those, the, the questions. We want to be able to answer those questions as much as, as possible, humanly possible, as much as supernaturally possible as well, as God downloads this information to us and our experiences that we have just sharing our experiences. So when I say our, it's because I'm going to be having a lot of people being interviewed on this podcast. It's going to be an awesome time. On the next Creative Encounter podcast episode, my boy C.W. Allen is going to be here. C.W. is a hip-hop artist, and he he is amazing. I need you, even before the episode, I need you guys to go and listen to my guy on iTunes, on Spotify. Download, purchase his music, support this brother. He is killing the game. So he is a hip-hop artist, and we are going to be here vibing, talking, telling stories, how he got into music, specifically hip-hop and the art. So it's going to be a great time. And speaking of C.W. Allen, him and I are both a part of this ministry, ACT International. So ACT stands for Artist in Christian Testimony. So what ACT does is it equips artistic and creative missionaries and ministries for kingdom work around the world. So what that is, those specifically who do creative ministries, they support us as we are missionaries in the arts. You can call us call us musicianaries, <laughs> you know. So pretty much ACT supports us and covers us so that we have nonprofit status. People support us monthly so that we can go out and do all the things God's called us to do, whether it's performing, touring, having the creative encounter events, having this podcast. People support us monthly so that we can execute these things to give you the tools and things that you need. So please support us. Uh, join our team. We would love for you to become a monthly partner. If you go to the Giving Fuel link below 
I would love for you to join uh, Creative Encounter, join Duet Z Paint Music, and be a part of this team so we can go ahead and implement new kingdom work through the arts. It'll be a great thing. So again, thank you so much. C.W. Allen will be here on our next episode. And if you want to join and come and be on the podcast, I would love to talk to you. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's connect. You want to reach out to Duet at creativeencounter.org. That is the email address. And if you want to perform at a Creative Encounter or speak at the next Creative Encounter, just come out to the event. Reach out. Creative Encounter details will be below. And we also have a survey for you to be able to put the details of what you do uh, so you can jump on board and be at the Creative Encounter. So again, thank you so much. Before we go, I do want to give a blessing And a prayer to you as you go off. I pray that God will bless your creativity, that his hand will be over you, that there will be no fear in you in Jesus' name. Fear is not of God. Fear is not of God. Again, fear is not of God. So it has no place. Has no place in here. So we need to let that go. I want you to jump into what God is calling you to. Uh, The timing is now. Jump into it. And whatever God is calling you to do, I want you to be able to implement that. So in Jesus' name, I pray that you walk in that truth, walk in his light, walk by his spirit, and do what he's, he's calling you to do, to have dominion over, over the earth, have dominion in your household, to be able to lead it in spirit and in truth. I pray that blessing over you in Jesus' name. And again, thank you so much for tuning in to Creative Encounter. Please go ahead and subscribe here on YouTube. Please go ahead and leave a review. We want to be able to rank up to reach so many more people in the arts. Uh, So please go ahead and do that for us on Spotify. And go ahead and do that on Apple Podcasts as well. I pray you have a blessed day and we will see you soon. Bye.